What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel and welcome back to your video. And welcome to the first race picks video of 2024. Today I'm doing race picks for the Bush Light Clash at the Los Angeles Coliseum. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. This week in the NASCAR Cup Series is kicking off the 2024 season at the Los Angeles Coliseum on the quarter mile short track for the third year in a row in the Los Angeles market. The last time we ran the Bush Light Clash, Martin Trek was able to pick up the victory in this event last year. Let's go ahead and jump into picks. Before we go ahead and jump into picks, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. So weather for this weekend is definitely very interesting. It's going to be very cool. It's going to be 60 degrees as high with 50 degrees as low. Right now, only a 15% chance of rain. Now, that number has been fluctuating over the course of the last few days. A couple days ago, it was around 50 to 60%. But over the last couple of days, it's been dropping that 15 to 20% range. It's so early enough in the week, though, to where the weather can change over the course of the next couple of days. And if it does, if rain does come into play, they might be able to use some wet weather tires. Now let's take a look at the format for the Bush Light Clash at the Los Angeles Coliseum. So on Saturday, there'll be four heat races that'll take place that are 25 laps each, and the top five finishers from those heat races will advance to the main event. Then on Sunday, you'll have the last chance qualifier where the top two will advance to the final race. And the highest finishing driver in points from last year in 2023 that did not make the main event in a race will get in as well, meaning that 23 drivers will race in the main event, which drops it from 27 down to 23, which I think was a very, very good decision. So now, let's go ahead and take a look at picks, and let's go ahead and jump into picks. For those who are new to the channel, here's how picks work on the channel. I usually do two suck picks, two drivers I expect to struggle throughout the weekend, two underdog picks, two drivers I usually think are going to run really well under front equipment, and I do my winner's pick, the driver thinks is going to win the race overall, and then I usually do five drivers you need to watch out for for the weekend who have not picked the win. This weekend, though, because it's a special occasion with the clash, I'm doing three suck picks, three underdog picks, a winner's pick, and six drivers you need to watch out for. So now, let's go ahead and jump into picks. Who are my psych picks for the Bush Light Clash at the Los Angeles Coliseum? My first psych pick for this weekend in Los Angeles is a driver of the two car for Team Penske, Austin Cindric. Austin Cindric historically has not been really good in the Bush Light Clash. He failed to make it in his rookie year in 2022, I believe, and struggled in the 2023 event as well. On top of that as well, Austin Cindric has been hit or miss on short tracks over the last couple of years. I unfortunately don't think he's going to run really well. I think he's going to be very inconsistent. And sadly, I think Austin Cindric will not have a very strong run this weekend at the Los Angeles Coliseum. My second suck pick for this weekend at the Los Angeles Coliseum is a driver 31 car for Colleg Racing, Daniel Hemrick. Daniel Hemrick is a decent short track racer, but unfortunately, Colleg Racing's short track program over the course of the last couple of years has not gone very well. They were really bad at Phoenix. They struggled at Richmond, and I just believe that, unfortunately, Daniel Hemrick is not going to run well this weekend. Like I mentioned, he's a pretty good short track racer, but unfortunately, that good short track progress he's shown, I don't think translates to him this weekend. I think he's going to struggle and finish through the bottom half of the field this weekend at the Los Angeles Coliseum. And my third and final suck pick for this weekend at the Los Angeles Coliseum is a driver of the 21 car for the Wood Brothers, Harrison Burton. I expect Harrison Burton to struggle this weekend, to be honest with you guys. And Wood Brothers have not been really good the last couple of years, really since Matt DiBenedetto left the organization, since Harrison joined. They've not been great. Now, to be fair, Harrison Burton did make the main event in 2022 as a rookie. I just think, though, unfortunately for Harrison Burton's sake, I don't think he's going to run really well, and I think the Wood Brothers are sadly going to struggle this weekend at the Los Angeles Coliseum. And now we're going ahead and jump on the underdog picks for this weekend at the Los Angeles Coliseum. Who are my underdog picks? My first underdog pick for this weekend at the LA Coliseum is a driver of the three car for Richard Childress Racing, Austin Dillon. Now, while I'm not expecting Austin Dillon to do a lot of great things this year in 2024, I looked up Austin Dillon's stats here, and he's finished in the top three in both events. Austin Dillon also has been decent at short tracks in the past. He nearly won at Marza back in 2022, and he's been a solid driver at this event before. I expect RSR to be really strong and really, really quick this weekend at LA. I think Austin Dillon has a really good chance and opportunity, maybe not win, but get another top three or top five finish this weekend at the Los Angeles Coliseum. My second underdog pick for this weekend at the LA Coliseum is the driver of the 41 car for Stewart Haas Racing, Ryan Priest. 
I think Ryan Priest is going to be a really good contender this weekend for multiple reasons. One, in last year's Los Angeles Coliseum event, he was one of the biggest threats and contenders in the second half of the race. Unfortunately, I think he had some major engine problems and major engine issues near the end event where he still was able to finish the race though and get a top 10 finish. I think Ryan Priest, with how good of a short track racer he is, I think that is going to lead him being an underdog to potentially get the victory. It would not surprise or shock me, though, if he's able to go out and win the race at Los Angeles. And the third and final underdog pick I have for this weekend is a driver 71 car for Spire Motorsports with a partnership with Trackhouse Racing, Zane Smith. Zane Smith is joining Spire Motorsports this weekend, and I think that Zane Smith is actually going to run pretty good here at Los Angeles. He's ever raced here before in the Cup Series, but I believe how good of a short track racer he is, I think he'll do a really good job and will be a serious threat and contender for the win this weekend in that number. Not a threat for the win, but I think he'll have a really good chance to be competitive and might have a chance to maybe a top 15 or maybe even a top 10 this weekend at the Los Angeles Coliseum. And now we're going to go ahead and jump on the winner's pick for the Bush Light Clash. Who is my winner's pick? My winner's pick is someone who has won the Bush Light Clash before, not at Los Angeles, but has won at Daytona International Speedway back in 2012, I believe, when he had a really good finish with Tony Stewart. And he's also finished really well in this event the last couple of years. I am picking Kyle Bush to win the Bush Light Clash at the Los Angeles Coliseum. Look, Kyle Busch historically has been really good at this track. He's been really good in both events and has finished in the top three in both events as well. Finished runner-up and dominated the early portion of the race in 2022. And also finished in third place and came back from spinning early in 2023 after getting taken out. I think Kyle Busch is going to start you off really, really strong. Be very competitive and I think Kyle Busch will be your winner at the Bush Light Clash in 2024. He's my pick for this weekend. So now we're going ahead and jump on to the drivers you need to watch out for for this weekend at the LA Coliseum. Who are the drivers you should watch out for? The first driver you should watch out for for this weekend at the LA Coliseum is a driver of the 23 car for 2311 Racing, Bubba Walls. Bubba Walls had a really strong car in this event last year, and he's gotten better and more mature as a driver over the course of the last couple of seasons. I think he's going to use that experience he's had for the last couple of years, and I think that leads Bubba Walls to being a pretty solid threat, and it would not surprise or shock me if he goes to victory lane. At the Los Angeles Coliseum. He was really good in North Wilkes for last year's wall finishing runner up there. I think it starts you off really good with the strong run. My second driver you need to watch out for for this weekend at the Coliseum is a driver of the 45 car for 2311 Racing, Tyler Reddick. Very similar to Bubble Walls, Tyler Reddick is a pretty solid short track racer, and in 2022, he dominated the early portion of the race and had some solid speed in 2023. I believe Tyler Reddick will be an outside chance of winning. I think that 45 car is going to be fast. I think it'll be strong. And I think Tyler Reddick will have a really good chance and opportunity to potentially pick up the win at the Los Angeles Coliseum. I expect him to be a serious threat and contender. The third driver you should watch out for for this weekend at the Los Angeles Coliseum is the driver of the five car for Hendrick Motorsports, Kyle Larson. While Kyle Larson has not historically been amazing at this track, he's been pretty good. And Henry Motorsports has been decent at short tracks as well. I expect Kyle Larson of how good of a driver he is. I think he will be a major threat to start you off on a really strong note. I expect Henry Motorsports to bring some pretty solid pace and some pretty strong speed this weekend. I think Kyle Larson will be a threat for the victory this weekend at the Los Angeles Coliseum. The fourth driver should watch out for for this weekend at the Los Angeles Coliseum is a driver of the 12th car for Team Penske, Ryan Blaney. I expect Ryan Blaney to be a serious threat and contender. He's a very good short track racer. Team Penske's been pretty good here. I know he hasn't been absolutely great in the two races he's been here, but he's coming off winning the Cup Series championship, and a lot of times the driver wins a championship has a lot of momentum at the start of the next season. So I expect Ryan Blaney to be a pretty serious threat and contender for the victory at the Los Angeles Coliseum. The fifth driver to watch out for for this weekend at the LA Coliseum is the driver of the 19 car for Joe Gibbs Racing, Martin Truex Jr. While I'm not sure how Martin Truex Jr. is going to do all year, he's a pretty good short track racer, and also Martin Truex Jr. won the most recent event here at the Los Angeles Coliseum. He's going to have a lot of momentum in this event. I think he'll be a pretty major threat and contender. We know how good Joe Gibbs Racing is at these types of tracks. I expect Martin Truex Jr. to be a big threat for the win at the Los Angeles Coliseum. And the sixth and the final driver I think you should watch out for for this weekend at the LA Coliseum is the driver of the nine car for Hendrick Motorsports, Chase Elliott. I think Chase Elliott will be good this weekend. I think he'll be a major threat for the win in all honesty. Chase has been okay at the LA Coliseum, 
But I think Chase Elliott is going to want to start the year off on a really strong note. I think he's going to be able to do that with a really good run this weekend. I think Henry Motorsports is going to bring some really strong equipment for him. And nonetheless, I think that Chase Elliott will be a threat to get it done this weekend with the number 19 at the Los Angeles Coliseum. So, those are my race picks of the Bush Light Clash. Just a reminder, my suck picks are Austin Center, Daniel Hamrick, Harrison Burton. My underdog picks are Austin Dillon, Ryan Priest, Zane Smith. My winner's pick is Kyle Bush, and the drivers who should watch out for are Bubba Walls, Tyler Reddick, Kyle Larson, Ryan Blaine, Mark Trix Jr., and Chase Elliott. Those are my race picks. So, that is going to be for the race picks video for the Bush Light Clash at the Los Angeles Coliseum. I want to thank guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Notifications on soon. If I win a video, it does go live on my channel. Follow me true Facebook and Instagram. And support me on Patreon as well. And comment below your picks below for this weekend's race. Let me know your suck picks. Let me know your underdog picks. Let me know your winner's pick. And let me know drivers you're watching out for for this weekend at Los Angeles. Let me know your picks in the comments below. Later today on the channel, I'm going to have the paint schemes video for the Bush Light Clash at the Los Angeles Coliseum. Then tomorrow, there should be a NASCAR news video on the channel, and also potentially the truck winter predictions might come out tomorrow or as well. Saturday, you'll have the heat race race review and a couple other videos dropping throughout the day before the races happen. And then on Sunday, you'll have the NASCAR Cup Series race review from the Bush Light Clash, hopefully. I've got a lot of great content dropping on the channel that I cannot wait for you guys to check out. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, buddy.